Hi there and welcome to the San Francisco 49ers News Channel. My name is Thomas and I am your host. If you're a fan of the San Francisco 49ers, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for all the latest news, analysis and discussions. Let's go to the news. While the 49ers' Christian McCaffrey extension ensures they have one fewer key player who would be in a contract year come 2025, Brandon Ayuk remains unsigned beyond this season. Attached to a fifth-year option, the standout wide receiver continues to stay away from his team. Ayuk joined C.D. Lamb by failing to report for his team's minicamp on Tuesday. Ayuk did not show up for the start of the 49ers' three-day camp, per NBC Sports Bay Area's Matt Mayako. Should the two-time 1,000-yard receiver skip all three days of the mandatory off-season session, as it certainly looks like he will, a $104,000 fine would be levied. Ayuk has missed all of San Francisco's off-season program thus far. Players who miss OTAs usually show up for minicamp, but it is not especially rare to see someone engaged in big-ticket extension talks to steer clear of the June session. Nick Boza and Debo Samuel each attended San Francisco's minicamp, though neither participated, while in contract negotiations, respectively, over the past two years. The 49ers reached extensions with both players before week one. As of now, Ayuk is tied to a guaranteed $14.12 million option salary. The wide receiver market has shifted this offseason, with the top average salary changing hands three times since April. Amon R.A. St. Brown, A.J. Brown and now Justin Jefferson have topped Tyree Kill's $30 million per year number, and the Vikings ventured into unprecedented guarantee territory to lock down their all-pro talent. Jefferson raised the full guarantee bar at WR from $52 million, Hill to $88.7 million. This could conceivably produce sticker shock from other teams negotiating with receivers. Ayuk would not be a candidate to top Jefferson's salary, but he is believed to be eyeing a deal in the $30 million per year neighborhood. A May report indicated Ayuk was targeting an extension worth slightly more than the $30.05M AV deal the Lions gave St. Brown. Before the Jefferson contract, Ayuk 49 heirs talks were not progressing. The 49ers passed on trading Ayuk during the draft, though teams inquired. It was believed San Francisco targeted a mid-first round pick for the 2020 draft fee. GM John Lynch effectively put a stop to Ayuk and Samuel trade talks, though neither player should be considered a lock to be a 49er this season. The team's first round selection of Ricky Pearsall does appear based on a future in which one of the Samuel Ayuk pair is elsewhere. For now, the team understandably seems keen on reloading and attempting another Super Bowl run with its core skill position pieces in place alongside Brock Purdy's rookie contract. With Purdy being extension eligible in 2025, it appears likely Samuel or Ayuk will be elsewhere. The 49ers still have some time on this front, holding exclusive negotiating rights with Ayuk until March 2025 and the franchise tag at their disposal. With no deal at minicamp, this saga does appear headed toward training camp, the window the 49ers have used to reach several key extensions during the Lynch-Kyle Shanahan era. Thank you for tuning in to San Francisco 49ers News. Make sure to like and comment on this video if you want to see more content like this in the future.